In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of August the 24th, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's very convenient for us to take a peek of the first reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he took me in spirit to a high mountain, and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem coming down out of, out of heaven from God. It had a massive high wall with twelve gates and the names of the tribes were there, the twelve tribes of Israel. And the wall had twelve courses of stones on its foundation on which were inscribed the twelve names of the apostles of the Lamb. All right, there are two things to ponder today, two points to ponder. The first which is not so obvious, is about these twelve stones on the foundation of the wall of the city. The wall is the defense of the bride of God. And the defense is founded precisely on twelve stones. Not one stone, not one rock, but twelve stones. The twelve stones that are equal, there is no greater one than the others. I would dare say that the twelve stones are supported by one huge rock. The rock is Christ, of course, the only foundation of the, of, of the church. But then, upon Christ, the only rock, there are twelve stones equal. And that let me say that that Jerusalem of heaven also is the wife of the Lamb. That is the universal church. That is the wife, Jew and me. But it is founded on all twelve apostles. Now when John wrote his book of Revelation, the treason of Judah the Iscariot had already happened. So who was the twelfth apostle? The twelfth apostle was named and chosen by God himself in the Acts of the Apostles. There is his name written there. And he substituted the one who betrayed the Lord. But all twelve conform one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, which is not limited to one apostolic see, but to all the twelve of them. And it is good for us to realize that we ought to pray for that, that we should come back again. Let me be very clear. Right now that one in the world is divided. Pridefulness, lack of love, divided it. Because certainly in the Roman Catholics, see is the seat 
of Peter, Simon Peter, the stone, one of the stones, not the stone on which the whole church rests, that only stone is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is one of the twelve. And where are the other, the other eleven? The other eleven are also united by themselves in the Orthodox Church. And that is a great shame. We should pray that the brothers may reunite. And the other thing that I would like to ponder is this personal experience. Nathaniel is called by Philip. And when he is told that they have found the one about whom Moses wrote and also the prophets, but then he is told that he is out of Nazareth, I'm sure he must have remembered Galilee, the Galilee of the pagans. And that is why he asked sternly and directly, can anything good, let alone a prophet and that mighty prophet, come out of Galilee, of Nazareth? Philip only answered, come and see. And before Nathanael can ask or say anything before the Lord, he is received with those incredible words. Here is a true child of Israel in whom there is no duplicity. How about, a, what is that duplicity about? About a duplicity in the heart. He is not willing to say lies or not being honest. And we see how honest he is. Immediately, the Lord is asked, how do you know me? And then the Lord answers those words, which have been studied and will be studied for an eternity, and never will, be, will we be able to clarify exactly what the Lord meant. I saw you before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Many people have tried to solve that mystery. I am certain that we are not being able to clearly know the truth. The one who knew was Nathanael. To Nathanael those words were so strong, so intimate, that he answered back, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. Then the Lord asked him, because I told you that you believe, you will see greater things. You will see the skies open and the angels coming down back and forth on the Son of Man. It is a personal experience of Nathanael that totally opens in him the hope, the faith. And now, dear brothers, it is very important that we also have that personal experience of the Christ. If we don't have that personal experience, we cannot grow not just in sanctity, in holiness, in love, not even in hope, but not even in faith. For faith is the confidence, is the knowledge of someone that we know, that we have experienced. Let us pray for each other, dear brothers, and for everyone, that we may have that experience of Christ. May the Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain in you forever.